uh, let me introduce the SDGs or Sustainable Development Goals, um, also known as uh, Global Goals. Um, we have 17 goals with one global aim, to make this world a better and a peaceful place. Uh, we have to achieve these goals by the year 2030, which is also known as the Vision 2030. And uh, SDGs are not just only 17 goals with 169 targets. When these goals are brought to classroom, they become the launch pad or the framework for collaboration in problem solving skills. Entire communities of students and teachers then become part of the solution by adding their action plans to make a difference in the world. Um, according to me, SDGs have the power to integrate academics with the power of activism. Uh, SDGs are the tools for students to recognize they have a seat at the table and that their voice also matters. SDGs or Sustainable Development Goals let students explore what they are curious about and they can pursue that curiosity with the help of their educators. Uh, the first time I became aware of the United Nations uh, Sustainable Development Goals was in 2016, one year after they were introduced. And at that time, I was 13 years old and was in grade nine. Uh, I participated in an exhibition that was hosted by my school uh, named Alcon International in India. And that exhibition was solely based on Sustainable Development Goals inspired by the exhibition, exhibition's message to spread the word about SDGs, I started creating short YouTube videos on the set of the 17 goals for sustainable development and addressing various social issues like girl child education, child education, bullying, climate change, and many more. Um, since then, I also hosted various talk shows, ran campaigns, hosted Skype sessions with students in different countries and motivated them to take action at local and global levels. The same year, I started the Twitter community, SDGs for Children, for students to create and collaborate towards Agenda 2030. And this community is now registered not-for-profit in Canada. And the whole reason I was able to do it was because of few of the teachers that really helped me in my school through all the issues that I was facing from being bullied to like, I need someone to motivate me because of not able to reach out to the people that I wanted to. So I think teachers had the biggest role in, uh, and my parents too, had the biggest role in uh, shaping me the way I am right now. I think it doesn't matter how rich the country is or how poor or how middle class the country is, SDGs should be the framework of every curriculum and students should, should just learn how to implement those in their daily lives. And it can only be done through the education process in the school. Now we understand why bringing such complex issue into the classrooms are important. This is the time when a lot of standardized curriculum and tests are going to be set aside. All the schedules have been turned upside down. Um, let's just change this uncertainty in school systems into an uh, opportunity. This is the chance not only to reform education, but also bring reform through education. It is not about focusing on the problems we will solve through education. It's about the solutions we will create in classrooms. If we don't step up the game and don't get people educated about SDGs, they won't be achieved by 2030. That's just my vision. Because unless you know them, you can't achieve them. So the first important thing is to get educated about them. And that's what I've been trying to do through my platforms. Students can start sharing your voice. I always say world changes are noisy. Be noisy about the issues you face and how you are solving them. But the most important is bring reforms in our education and let's address these basic questions through our curriculum. First, how to become self-directed learners. Second, how to be media literate. Third, how to be responsible consumers. Fourth, how to support neighbors who do not have access to technology. Fifth, how to share our resources with the community. And last, how to create and maintain sustainable cities where we want to live. I think that SDGs should become the language of any conversation within the class. 
um, let's just design the curriculum that allows our student to attempt the impossible. Like we can only have two possibilities. First, the student fails to solve the problem, but learns a lot of valuable lessons. Or the other one, they surprise us all and actually solve the problem at hand. Today, individual teachers who are keen and self-motivated to work on SDGs with students are actually trying different things in their classrooms. Others will see only challenges and lack of resources. You will be amazed to read the success stories, the challenges, and the solution which educators share in my upcoming book. We try to learn from these stories. Today, I will urge all educators from this platform, please be the light you want to see at the end of the tunnel. Create inspiring and impactful stories with your students. Thank you. Thank you.